Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the Sudoku Tude set of puzzles, and this time we're looking at a consecutive pairs puzzle called Raindrops. Um, consecutive pairs, of course, we'll go through the rules, but being um, a subset of the Kropke pairs rule set where we're just using consecutive dots, and pairs meaning that not all dots are given. It's just the way that the rules have been done. Um, so, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can um, try this puzzle for yourself, as well as a link to the um, Sudoku Tudes playlist, which will contain all of the Sudoku Tudes puzzles that have been released so far. At some point soon, I'm going to create a second playlist because when playlists get over, sort of get close to a hundred items in the playlist, they become unwieldy. So I'll create a new playlist for um, more of the Sudoku Tudes puzzles. Um, and I may start provide if you. Uh, there's also a tracking page which contains links to all of the completed sets. These puzzles from this set won't be on it yet, but once this set is complete, they'll be on there. Um, I might throw a link to that below as well. Um, so is there anything else I want to go through? No, let's go straight to the rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then consecutive pairs. Digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive, which is they have a digit of one. It doesn't mean they must be adjacent. Consecutive and adjacent don't mean the same thing because um, they are adjacent because they're in neighboring cells. Um, they must have a difference of one. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, if I remember correctly, what I was wanting to play with with this puzzle was the concept of parity. Now, I can immediately see next to a seven, we can only put a six or an eight. Next to a six, we can only put a five or a seven, and this one can't be a seven, so this has to be a five. Next to a four, we can only put a three or a five, and that can't be a five, so it has to be a three. And we can get something like that, but I don't think we get too much further. Next to eight needs to be seven or nine. Um, but the concept we're playing with here is you'll notice that on any dot, you, you can't have two odd digits consecutive with each other because there's a difference of two there. The same with two odd digits. So every consecutive dot must have an even digit and an odd digit. So what we can do is we can select every single odd digit and say those are odd. I use yellow for odd. Uh, missed that one. And then and missed that one as well. That must be odd because it's seven or nine. And then we can select every even digit and say those are even. And then we could do some tricks to try and figure out, okay, what more do we know? Because, and there's, um, for example, we know this is odd, this is odd, this is odd, but this dot must contain an odd digit and this dot must contain an odd digit. Now between one and nine, there are only five odd digits and four even digits. So we've got one, two, three, four, five odd digits in this column. Those must both be even, which means on the separated by dots, those must be odd. And we should potentially keep going with this. There's one, two, three, four pairs in that row, which means all of the even numbers are taken up. That must be odd. There's an even here, an even here, an even here, and an even here. This must be odd, which means this must be even. One, two, sorry, one, two, three, four. They're all the evens. This must be odd. Whoops, wrong color. Um, and I'm just continuing to look for those patterns. Odd on this, odd on this, odd on this, and two odds. There's all five odds. This becomes even. This becomes odd. And where do I look now? Odd here, odd here, odd here, odd here, and odd here. There's all five odds. That is even. I admit, this could be tricky to scan. And that was kind of deliberate. This is one of the harder ones. Right. Odd and even, odd and even, odd and even, odd and even. That is odd. I could possibly do more in this column because these are one, two, eight, and nine. This can't be an eight or a nine. That's a one or a two. So what can this be? It could be one, one, two. It can't be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So what can this dot be now? 
I can't put a one on this dot because if I put a one on this dot, I'd need to put a two next to it and that would break that cell. So I can't put a one on this dot. So I can't put a two on this dot either because if I put a two on this dot, then the two would need to go next to a one or a three. If the two went next to a one, that cell would break. If it went next to a three, that wouldn't work. So this can't have one or two on it or three, four, five, six, or seven. This is an eight, nine pair, which means this is one or two. And now this can't be a one. If this was a one, that would have to be a two and that would have no fill. So this is two, this is one, which means that's odd, that's even. This now has to be consecutive with two and can't be one. So that is three, which is odd. And I'm having to switch between placing numbers and placing parity coloring and they're all different. Um, so this is four, six or eight. But now, did that get me any further? Well, this has to be even because I've got all five odds. These are now five and nine, and this is the five, and this is the nine. Cool. Okay. That was really nice, by the way. I liked it. So five is in, oh, five is on this dot by Sudoku. So this has to be five, six, because I can't put the four next to it. So this is a five, six pair looking up saying this isn't the six. In fact, six isn't in any of those. So this is the six. And this is a four, eight pair. And the eight makes that the four and that the eight. This is now next to seven or nine and it can't be a seven. So that is a nine. So that is one, five or seven. Where is one in this box? Uh, it could be there. One, one is in one of those four. I'm not sure about that. This is two or four. Oh, this nine means this is an eight. And this is one, three, five. So one, three, five. But this is also one three five because I've got a seven nine. There is a one three five over here, but I'm not sure how to use that yet. This is odd because I've got even, 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 and even. This has been odd for since the beginning. This is even, and this is one five or seven. It's not one. This is only five or seven. Seven here would need this to be six because it couldn't be eight. Five would need this to be yeah. This is four or six. Okay. I'll get there. I promise. Maybe. Sort of. This sees two, four, six, and eight. So that is odd. Even, 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 and even. This is odd. And it's seven or nine. And there must be a two on this. There must be a two on this because there must be an even digit on it and it can't be four, six or eight. So there must be a two on this and it can't be next to three. So this is a one, two pair. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven or nine and the seven looks across making this the nine, which makes this the seven. Okay. If this is odd, it's this is only three or four because it sees one, two, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is only three or four. If this is three, this has to be four. If this is four, this has to be three because two and five are not available. This is a three, four pair. One of these dots has to be, I have to put a one on one of these dots and it has to therefore be a one, two dot. And this can't be the one, two dot because that would be one, two, putting one uh, multiple one, twos. This is the one, two dot and the one makes that the two and that the one. So this is odd and this is even. This is now seven, eight. And the seven makes that the eight and that the seven. We've got even and odd, which means that's the nine and that's the eight. And we've got even and odd. Making some progress. Is it good progress? Seven in this column is down here and it has to be six, seven, because I can't put seven in any of those. So seven is on one of those two and I can't make this seven, eight because of that. So this is a six, seven. So these are from two, three, four, must contain three.
this uh, I'm not sure I must put a three on one of these, which will go next to a four. So there is a three, four in one of those. Seven is in one of those three. One is in one of those. Could this be one, two? I think it can. Okay, I'm still missing it. Where's nine in this row? It can't be there. So it's in one of those two. So this can't be odd. If this was odd, it would have to be nine, which would make that eight, which it can't be. So this is even, and this is odd. So this is only four or six, because it can't be two or eight. Sorry, this is odd. That's a four, six pair. So there's a, oh, right. Even, 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 there is a two on this. So this is from one, two, three. But now these are both odd because I've got an even on there and those are all even. These are both odd and these are both even. So these are two, four, six, and there's no six there. There's no four there. If this is a two, this is a three because it can't be a one. If this is a six, this is a seven because it can't be a five. A two here, yeah, this is one, three, five, and I think all of that is possible, except three is down here. This can't be a three. Oh, three is, no, two is down here. Sorry, that is wrong. Three can be up here. In fact, three is up there because three is not in any of those. Three is in one of those two. This is a one, two pair taking one out, whoops, taking one out of there. This is a three, five, seven. That's the one. Okay. Oh, this one makes that the two, which is even, and that the one, which is odd, which means this is the two, which is even, and this is the one, which is odd. One is over here now. This can't be the one, because that would have to be the two, which would break that. That's not the one. That's the one, which is odd. So this is even two. The one looks up saying that's not the one. This could still be two, three, I think. In fact, that's a three, five pair. So that is a one. This is another puzzle I don't remember, but I'm very happy with. I feel this column is doing more. One of these is a three, four. And the other one has a six on it. What about this? Two, three, six, seven. Eh. Eight is down here. Eight is in one of those two. If that was an eight, that would be a seven. Yeah, okay. This is... Five, seven, or nine. Can't be three, because three has to be up here. Six is in one of these two. I can, because of the six, seven, I can't put six in any of those. This is four or eight. And six can't be in any of those. So six is in one of those two. So two, six, and eight, there must be a four on this dot. And we know there's a three, four in this column because wherever the three goes in the column can't go with the two. That is the three, four. And the four makes that the three, which is odd, and that the four, which is even. The four makes that the six, which means this can't be the nine. That is a three, five, seven. So that is the nine. That is a five, six, seven triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are an eight, nine pair. Okay, that can't be the nine because that would be the eight and that would break it. So that's the eight. That is not the eight. 
So this isn't that that's now even and both of those are odd. The eight can go with seven or nine and it can't be a nine. So that's the seven, that's the five, that's the nine. This is the nine, which is odd. This is even, which is eight, making that the four. This is the three that hasn't been placed in the box. The five looks across making that the six, which is even, that the five, the five, which is odd. The six makes this seven, which is odd, and six, which is even. Okay, three is only next to two or four. So that is now a two, three, four, but the two of course makes that the four. This is now a two, three, and the two makes that the three, which is odd, and that the two, which is even. There's a six and an eight. Well, there's no eight on here. So where's eight in this box? It's there. So this is the even eight. This has to be the nine because it can't go next to seven. And these are the five, six, and the six makes that the five, which is odd, and the six, which is even. This now has to be three or four for the row. Three, four, seven. So one of those is a seven. That's the seven, which is odd. This is a three or a four. And if this is a three, this would have to be two or four, but three would make that four. So that's the four, which is even. I could have got that from the, um, maybe not. That's the three, which is odd. That's the four, which is even. This is the three, which is odd. Four can only go next to five, which is odd. And this is the six, which is even, which hasn't been placed. The seven looks up making that the five, which makes that the three and that the seven. The seven can only go next to the six, which makes that the four and that the two. The two looks across making that the four, which still allows that to be three or five. Now on this row, we haven't placed two or three, and the two looks up making that the three, which is odd. That's the two, which is even. The three makes that the five. These two digits, which haven't been placed, are six and seven. We know that's going to be the even. Whoops. I no, 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 no. I did that wrong. I was trying to color because six, seven is my even color. That's even, that's odd, which means that's the six, that's the seven, and that is the solution to the puzzle. So this was a puzzle where I was trying to use consecutive pairs, which must play with parity in order to get people thinking about parity. And I admit this one was quite tricky, but it still came in at a 15 minutes with explanation. So I feel that this is a good etude level puzzle. Um, I'm trying to not get, I've had a couple of these get over 20 minutes, but they're rare. I'm trying to keep these under 20 minutes, which I think is a good solve for um, being able to explore a constraint. Um, and so far, I've been really happy. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the series and I'm really hoping like either um, email or, um, or Discord or comments below. Comments below make YouTube happy, but any of them make me happy. And if you're really enjoying the series, please consider um, sort of donating via Ko-fi, which is the best way of supporting me being able to make more of these. Um, but not a requirement. I'm going to continue releasing these for free. Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, Good luck with your solving.